a plexus, which is the sun plexus. Here's your heaven. Give us this day, which is the day, our daily bread. What is that bread? That bread is that seed that is secreted every 29 and a half days from the solar plexus area into the bloodstream. Uh -huh. which sits at the right kidney for three days. And if you don't sex it, it rises to the right hand of the Father. Ah. That's the secret. That's and this is our daily bread. Uh -huh. That's why they say Jesus is the bread of life. Uh -huh. Okay? God, but forgive us our trespasses. When you trespass, you go into areas of your body with your mind that you're not supposed to. Uh -huh. You see? And you see, we have some trespasses for lead us not into temptation because to tempt one is to make one or to provide one with a chance to stray. Uh -huh. You see? So, so let me not look at the, the sexual act and get overindulgent into that because it takes all of my spiritual energy down to the physical plane. You see? So give us this day our daily bread and, and for, uh, forgive us our trespasses and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from the evil. Now what is evil? Evil is simply that which is L-I-V-E to live. Deliver us from the way we live. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You understand? Because this is, the, this is the mirror image right here. Yes. You understand? Uh -huh. Deliver us from evil and lead us not into temptation for that is the kingdom. Right, that is the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. They're telling you who it is we're talking to. Amen. Right here, the Son. <laughs> so know that inside of us is the Son and that we are Son creatures. Yeah. But here now, this is what I wanted to say. Wow. Know that the Son that we are going around, and this wow. being our Earth, for instance, and all the other planets that we have in our soul, Ra, S O U L R A system. Uh -huh. Our sun soul system. Mm -hmm. This is not standing still because we are inside of a galactic blueprint that is also moving at the speed of light uh -huh. into the into the oceans of forever. We sail on the oceans of forever, uh -huh. and that there are billions of other galaxies just within this layer of reality. Remember, within just this layer of reality, we perceive a reality. That is billions upon billions upon billions upon billions of solar systems. We ain't even talked about the other realities no. above and beyond those. No. And they all interdisperse and connect through certain grid lines that we have the ability to interface and cross over into. Now we are moving at this point because right over here, just for instance, is a system called Alcyon. A-L-C-Y-O-N-E. That is the central sun, father sun for our total galaxy. This is what was called by the ancient Mayans and the ancient Olmecs, I mean the ancient Olmecs, Hunab, Hunab Ku. Uh -huh. That is the central sun that is teaching and dictating and giving us all the information that we need. Now that central sun is aligned to not only this sun, but it's aligned to all the planetoids. And right now, it's affecting us in such a way that the electromagnetic energy in a planet is now changing. The magnetic energy of this earth is dropping considerably. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The magnetic energy on the planet is dropping considerably, which means the electrical energy is rising. Oh, it is. Yes. Which means now, now here's what the secret is. You don't mind me straying off a little bit. No, no, no. Okay. Here's the secret. In the dynamics of movement, we'll say that electricity is the yang energy that moves in its linear capacity. But as electrical energy moves in its linear capacity, it creates an effect, a magnetic principle. So as there is an electrical pulse, Around that electrical pulse is a magnetic lag. So every energy, every spark of electricity creates a magnetic envelope. So now here we are within this earth structure and the earth is moving at a specific trajectory. It has now picked up in speed. Which wise you see the, the seasons are flying by, days are flying by. It has picked up in speed. Which means that the electrical envelope the electrical speed now is causing a lot of uh, uh, differentiation, a lot of madness. But let me just get to this point. With the speeding up, 
the envelope is getting a lot more intensified. Now, with that speeding up, there is going to be a slowing down inside of here. Now, this is the reef part because we are now aligned with Alcyon, which create every 13,000 years we align with a certain aspect of Alcyon, and the planet begins to slow down. As soon as the planet begins to slow down, the electrical, the, the, the magnetic lag drops, and it is the magnetic lag that creates the illusion that we are in. When the magnetic lag drops, the electrical potential goes up, and that's when spirit enters. Oh, mm -hmm. that's good. oh yeah. That's good. A very high spiritual energy. But those who are in place from the old lag paradigm, which is what religion is based on, those who are in place who have kind of been the parasite sucking on the spiritual energies at that time are going to fight to maintain their own life. Because the spiritual quotient, the EIQ and the SIQ, is going to rise to such a level that we're going to see through all the bullshit. So they can't pretend that there's a democracy anymore. Uh -huh. They can't pretend. They have to go into terror alert. The terror is them. Well, they are terror. terror. Yeah, no, no, I'm saying, no, no, I'm saying, okay. yeah. We know they're the terror, but they're terrified. Yeah, no. uh -huh. It is they that are terrified. Uh -huh. not they are terrified. terrified. Yes, so they in turn express terror the way they know to defend themselves they terrified of the new time that's coming in so they got to now come out and become more vicious because the spiritual energy is going to be such that the people ain't going to take it no more that's why they got your kids locked down in the education system it's an indoctrination system not an education system now just to bring it real full circle now that there's a lag taking place and there's going to be a, a, a certain slowing down First is speeding up, and then are slowing down. What's going to happen is that this 24 degrees is going to be temporary. It's going to happen in such a way that the, the, the spin of our earth is going to slow down to the point where day is going to be three days, night is going to be three days long. In other words, in the Bible they talked about the sun standing still in there. That was the 13,000 year cycle that happens. Where for three days there is no there's no movement, and that's when oceans begin because the certain trajectory of the planet, the spin of the planet, kept certain oceans in certain locked places and certain you know like okay it went up on shore and came back down because the the cyclic patterns, the gravitational pull of the sun and the moon and everything was in sync. It stayed in sync. Now with everything slowing down that particular agreement is no longer in place, which means floods, earthquakes, because imagine that the earth is spinning, and on the earth itself, the earth spins upon a molten lava mantle. Hold, hold on one second. Let me get this. I'm <laughs> going too fast. This is good. This is good. Yeah, I got to stop it. I love this. I love this. Okay. The earth itself at this time floats upon a mantle of molten rock. The centrifugal force created by the spin has set the present plates in place so that it's already found its spot. You ever saw the top and the sp after, after it's spinning real fast it goes around first and then gets to a place where it spins real cool, like it's like not even moving, uh, it's a little wobble here and there, because yeah. it's spinning so fast, well know that the specific speed at which the earth is turning has set the plates of the planet, which is above water, in place according to that spin orientation. As the top slows down, shit starts to wobble. Anything that's on that will begin to start shifting, cracking up and breaking into a new ellipsis until such time as the earth begins to start spinning again and in that second spin cycle it rearranges the planet so that whoever survives now has to rebuild civilization oh, sorry, man, oh yeah hell there's going to be a lot of people dead a whole, a whole lot of water where there wasn't no water before yes. beachfront property in Nevada how yeah. close are we to that? <laughs> because I know it's starting to explode. Yeah. 
Serious. Like, 